Right. Um, so today what I'm going to show you is how to input streaming data into your events hub and then use stream analytics. Let me just uh, give you an example here. Um, first of all, what we need to do is create an event hub, which I'm assuming you guys already did. So once an event hub namespace is created, under which an event hub instance is created, you'll also create a stream analytics job. This is where you define the input and the output. So the input is uh, your event hub and the output in this case is a Power BI stream that I've put in, uh, which is also something that you will be able to observe here. So this is the Power BI um, workspace, which I've authenticated and logged in, which you'll be able to see in the output here. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I already have everything set up. You can have a look in the event hub instance and see that, uh, yes, I've been sending a lot of data regularly over the past hour to this particular event hub instance. And you can see uh, mess incoming messages and everything. So that looks good. Um, when we go to the query section, which you will find under the main namespace, is the query, 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 right? Oh, sorry, you will find it under stream analytics. Okay, here we go. So I've already tested this. This is a place where you can test your query. I can, I've already tested this and uh, I can see from the input preview uh, that it works, that yes, streaming data is coming in. And again, uh, the streaming data is coming in from uh, this particular sample file that has been created. Um, to input data in the JSON format. Um, so what's next? All right, cool. So this works. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start this job, which actually starts the entire process of bringing in streaming data. And then to demonstrate, I'll also be starting another instance of uh, uh, this particular um, live data streaming sample code that we have here. So Oof, all right, let's do this. Let's um, start this. Okay, input streaming units three. All right, cool. Um, all right, look, looks good. So I've started this and now I will also be doing this. So you will be able to observe that. Uh, so there are 100 events. Uh, so overall you'll be seeing 100 events uh, that should go into the streaming data. Right, so the messages have been sent, I hope. And um, where is it? All right, so it's still running. It's still running. This might take a while. Mm, all right, let's wait for this to happen. If I go to my Power BI dashboard right now and I hit refresh, okay. Mm -hmm. Still, still taking some time. So you can see the query. Uh, there are three um, columns that I'm selecting, uh, which is the make, the price, and the time into the event hub stream, which is my output that you'll be able to see here. This should be a little bit of you. Yeah, so this is my output stream, um, the Power BI dashboard where I want. And uh, I think I can currently see that, yep, uh, the data is being inputted. Oh, I think it's, is it done? Mm, I guess, oh, all right. So started successfully, looks good. Uh, let's see if data is in, oh, it's in. All right, now we actually do have data uh, in Power BI. That's amazing. Um, create report looks like the right thing to do. And uh, again, I mentioned that we had make price time. So we do have make price time here with us. Uh, let's just say um, we only have one make. So I'm not sure if this would make a lot of sense since this is a sample data that I've used. Yep, there is only one uh, make which we had used, which was Honda. So that wouldn't make a lot of sense. Um, right, guys. So for better understanding, there's another thing that I've done. Um, uh, and that's, uh, well, I've tried inputting another stream as well. 
um, with another company, let's say Ford, uh, a similar price point, which I think we can change here. Give me one second. Let's just make it I plus one. And then uh, I've changed the dates a little bit. So the idea basically here is so that we could probably actually compare something in Power BI, um, maybe something a little more relevant. Obviously, this is a sample JSON file. So as you can see, now we have two input streams coming in. Um, one for uh, Honda and another for Ford. 50-50 uh, messages each. So that makes it a total of 100. Let's see if they have been inputted correctly. So I'm again just taking a duration of two minutes, which should be the last two minutes. Okay, so we can see now that uh, two different streams have come in, right? We have similar prices, blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, the Ford one is in uh, December, uh, November, sorry, and the Honda is in December. We have that. Now we can probably get started. Okay, I don't know why it does say this. Should be 50 and 50, 100 total inputs. Let's start. starting now great good news our streaming job has started successfully so we are supposed to be streaming um, let's run this one more time uh, to see how successfully are we able to bring in streaming data so yep those are 50 rows for Ford 50 rows for Honda that should be good now we have our streaming data button and now if I go to Power BI and if I refresh, look at our data set here, uh, see if uh, the changes are visible that have been made to the table. Let's have a look. Yep. So you can see now Ford and Honda as well. That's good. Uh, let's just also compare them over price using maybe Mm-hmm. Uh, give me one second. Do, do, do. Why is this? So the values will be price. Yep. And that's here. You can you can easily observe. Um. So Ford would definitely be a half, or Honda would be double. Um. Uh, when it comes to the price, because uh, the equation I've mentioned, uh, Honda prices I and the price for Ford is I plus one. So at every instance, the price is double. That's why you see this particular graph. But uh, yeah, mm, looks good. This is how you'll be able to bring in actual streaming data from any JSON file uh, into Events Hub and then use streaming analytics with a defined output. You could even use, uh, for example, I've used, um, I've used uh, Power BI, but you could also have another output functions. You could also have like a SQL database or something. Uh, which we'll explore later as well, don't worry. But yeah, just to give you an update, this is how you can do it. Have a great day.